Thanks for tuning into this fun video with some miniature photography. Uh, like and subscribe. Visit my website. Thanks, guys. <clears throat> Go down here and set up my my scene, being mindful of my background. <clears throat> and uh, you know, I want. Well, I've let's see. Let's let's just do it right in here. A nice little clear out a little spot i don't want anything to scale my my truck my toy you know any rocks or bottle caps or little twigs anything that might show the scale though i mean it's going to be obvious it's a toy in the image but i don't want it to be scaled so it really destroys the effect um so let's set up like right in here i brought this little wire so i can use my so I can position a few things and my jumbly fingers don't get in the way. Okay. Let's set this guy up and... Okay. So I got my scene set up. Being mindful of the background. I like this smooth black top here. We're at a, we're at a remote control aircraft... Uh, little runway here a little park for rc cars and remote control airplanes so i've got a good uh good bit of blacktop here that i don't have to worry about getting ran over by cars and stuff like that so we've got our little scene set up uh next thing i'm going to do is go over some of the equipment that i use and uh and why i'm using this today i'm using I've got my 5D, this is a Mark II. I've got it with a 200 millimeter 2.8 lens. You might think, oh, why not use a macro? You want to get close. But the problem with the macro lens is it gets super close, but the depth of field is so, so shallow that, you know, I've got to stop down to F, you know, 20 or, you know, and then you get dust spots and, you know, things like that you have to worry about. So what I do is I use this 200 millimeter 2.8 so I don't have to worry about uh, the the limited depth of field. I can shoot at you know 2.8, you know uh, f 4.5, and 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 still get reasonable depth of field. Whereas if I shoot at 2.8, focusing close with a macro lens, my depth of field is is really super razor thin, and I don't want that. So um, I've got an extension tube on here, and the reason for that is so that I can shorten my minimum uh, focusing distance and and i use uh these for my macro lens um and these are uh kenco extension tubes i get these on amazon they're like 100 bucks but i put i put the uh which one do i have on here 20 millimeter and what it does is instead of me having to be back here to focus i can get a little bit closer and focus with my 200 millimeter and and the reason that's important is because the further I am away from the subject, the more foreground is going to be in the image and the more uh, blur you have until you lead up to the actual subject. And I don't and I and I want to minimize that. So at any rate, we'll go ahead and the last uh, let me make sure I have a CF card in here and a battery. Yeah, I do. OK, the other thing that I have here I'm using today is something I made. You can see this in my. Uh, other videos where I do like mushroom macro photography and stuff like that it's just a macro uh, you know a, a low-lying camera mount that I, I created using an old piece of a strobo frame and and uh, you know there's there's ones you can buy on the market but I'll show you why I like this one better it might be ugly but it's mine didn't cost me a hundred bucks so now I can waste money on other stuff. So we'll screw this on. And this is an old base of an old strobo frame that I've taken apart. And the reason that's important, this piece is important, is because it allows me to go from portrait to landscape orientation just by rotating it. And, and that's important. Uh, so what we'll do next step is we'll get up here and we'll sort of get in here and loosely frame our shot. And... Uh, make sure that the composition and everything's looking good let me kind of condense everything over here make sure that 
everything's looking pretty decent as far as composition goes and the way I'm gonna do that is by coming down here going into live view turning my camera on first because they work better when they're on manual mode of course uh, let me bring my gear right up here so I don't have to be looking behind my back for it now we'll get down here on live view manual mode live view manual focus okay and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna get this scene that I've created into frame okay okay and just make sure we've got how much closer I can get and still maintain focus yeah I think we're good right here raise my legs up to give me a little angle to this okay I think we're good right there I'm gonna be on the left side where the hamburger is so let's see that I can zoom in on this and still get get focus that I'm not too close so I've got everything in live view focused and set up I think I'm gonna shoot this at probably f8 I'm gonna do it on a 10 second timer because what I want to do is I want to allow the camera to quit shaking <clears throat> and everything to settle down uh, before the shutter actually clicks so I've got my, just to recap, I've got everything set up, I've got my scene set up, I've got my composition, um, I've got my focus, now I'm going to go ahead and take a test shot and see where my exposure is, uh, and if I need to move my shutter speed up or down in order to, to uh, get the right exposure, I've got my, I already know 1-200 is going to be really, really fast. Do it on 180th and see what we're looking like for exposure. Okay, I can go a little bit slower. My histogram doesn't have anything on the on the white, so let's go over here and go down to actually right now. Let's just raise this ISO up to we'll go up to 200. I don't mind. I don't want such a slow shutter speed. Ten seconds seems forever. There we go. Okay, okay, there we go. We've got a good exposure now. Histogram's looking good. So, Let me look at and what I may do, I think I'm gonna t do this, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna bracket it, and we're gonna go here, and I'm just gonna bracket it by a stop on each side. And what that's going to do is going to allow me to create a little bit of HDR, high, uh, you know, high dynamic range image with the uh, with this truck to to make it look a little more interesting in the final image. Just double check everything, and hopefully we don't get much blur in between each shake, uh, you know, each actuation of the shutter. I think we should be okay though okay I'm liking this yeah I think we're good with that and those this are, is the portrait portrait set, uh, part of this how I do the self portrait so what I want to do is I want to go ahead uh, let me turn turn my camera off I'm gonna take it off of this base and put it on the tripod so we'll set that down get my base back for my tripod looks good to me okay slide this on lock it down and I'm keeping, I'm keeping everything the same uh, in this, except I'm not going to use my extension tube uh, because you lose infinity focus and I'm gonna be a little far away because I'm using a 200 millimeter lens. So to get my whole body in frame, I've got to back up just a little bit. Uh, 
I've got to back up quite a bit uh, and I don't want to lose my uh, you know my infinity focus in a, in a so we're gonna leave the truck there we're gonna back up and the reason I leave the truck there let me show you real quick is because it gives me a place to stand in my portrait and I can line myself up and pretend that this is life size and then I'm interacting with that little robot dude and so we'll keep everything right there uh, so it gives me a, a, a place to anchor to and, and to pose to so with that being said let's get way back over here probably and I'm gonna be standing up so it's gonna be I'm gonna have to back up a little ways so I'm gonna extend my tripod out all the way and and by keeping the lens the same the perspective and the field of view and the the, the background you know everything's gonna look the same so what I'll do is level my base out here real quick so I'm starting with a good level shot there we go okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back up this is gonna take a couple steps because there's only one of me and I've got to do it uh, this way here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus and set my camp my my viewfinder with the truck at the very bottom of the frame and the reason I do that is because it gives me a point to focus on so that I can go stand over there in that spot and be in focus or you can also drop a piece of debris on the ground or something like that to help you focus you know uh, and then run over to the debris like I did in my other video let me go to uh, oh let me go to live view here turn my camera on because why they work better when they're on okay so I'm gonna go down here I'm gonna zoom into my little truck and if my truck is in focus and I'm standing right next to it I'm gonna be pretty good idea I'm gonna be in focus enough for the image okay now this first shot I'm gonna take is gonna be a test shot it's gonna I'm gonna run over and I'm gonna make sure that I'm in frame I'm gonna look through my viewfinder and see about where I need to be I might not be fully in frame in this one uh, so I might have to back up so this might take two or three shots when you're doing it by yourself but let's set this back to uh yeah it's on 10 seconds um, f8 is fine uh, actually let's do five six give me a little bit more so I don't have to stand so still because it's dark out but my ISO up to 400 and let's do um, let's do one one hundredth of a second actually let's do one two hundredth because it's a 200 millimeter lens I'm not hand holding it but let's see what this looks like so we'll go ahead and press that down we'll run over here do a pose wait for 10 seconds okay we'll go back and look at the image and see just if I'm everything is about right and it's not because my head is chopped off and I'll show you that's image 9283 but it's okay so all you do in that case you get back up a little bit more there you go okay then you adjust your viewfinder again it's not hard okay keep the truck at the bottom of the frame so I'm raising my about right there okay and we'll take the picture again we'll refocus because we move the camera live view go back over here zoom in on this rascal see if we can get a decent focus from over here there we go okay now we'll run over and we'll let me look through here and see about where I need to be okay we'll take the picture again fired the image let's go take a look 
and you can pose it any kind of corny way you want just imagine yourself interacting with this little robot action figure dude and I'll do a couple poses I like the exposure uh, I'll be pretty simple to cut out of this background let me look at the histogram I mean I like the exposure exposure is good see and yeah it is it's a good exposure 9287 uh, and now what I'll do is I will take the GoPro off I will set it up here and you can see me run over and pose and act like a goofball with this uh, action figure and we'll just do a couple poses okay so let me push the shutter make sure I'm in frame make sure I'm in frame make sure uh, this is 9288 make sure it's a pose I think I'm gonna like okay let's go over and do another pose okay and uh, we'll try to This is where a remote shutter is easier. Okay. It's just a prop for me to use. You can do whatever you want. Let's take a look and see what this is looking like image 9290 uh, so in this last part I just want to kind of recap everything that I did and everything that I used and how really super easy it is uh, to, to do um, I got my camera I've got a good lens that allows me to to capture the image the way I want uh, I used an extension tube in this so that I can shorten the distance the minimum focusing distance and I can get closer to the subject uh, eliminating a little bit more of the foreground um, uh, so I use that extension tube I use my 200 millimeter 2.8 lens I think I was at, at, at f8 or something like that I'll look at the metadata in a minute um, I just use natural light I also did use my little camera base that I made um, which you don't have to do that you can you can hand hold this stuff or you can put it on a table and use a tripod my truck once I set the scene once I came and I set the scene up and I and I got my focus and I got my exposure I never moved the truck um, even when I did my self-portrait I used the truck as an anchor even though when I do my self-portrait and I'm and I uh, you know mask myself out in Photoshop you're not gonna see the truck but I use it as an anchor a place where I can uh, look down and see that I'm posing in a position that looks natural with the truck I, and so that and that's important so you know um, and you just be kind of goofy you know you have keys in your hands you have a soda you have a dollar bill like you're making change with the taco truck you know and I did a, I did a bracketed set of this taco truck also because I just want to do a little HDR with that just to make it look a little little neat you know a little kind of super hyper real you know and you know you come out here and actual shooting this probably took me 30 minutes you know it takes more time explaining it but it's really fun it's really easy camera lens tripod toy but anyway all right cool well let me pack my stuff up and we'll see you guys <laughs> i don't even know who this guy is i just got him out of my kid's room my cheeseburger ah